Ring the dinner bell for Trout, Kokanee, and Landlock Kings with Kel Kellogg's Willow Leaf Dodgers. Available in mini and magnum sizes at fishhuntshoot.com. Get yours today. Hey guys, Kel Kellogg here. You know how I feel about Folsom Lake. I am absolutely astounded. Um, the lake hasn't fished this well in recent memory. It is actually kicking out limits and near limits of king salmon as some of them are very large fish up to 25 inches long. It makes me wonder if someone didn't sneak in there, steal the old Folsom Lake and replace it with a new lake that actually boots out fish. Of course I'm kidding. We all know the kings are there and sometimes they bite, sometimes they don't, but they've been in a feeding mood lately. You know, and the fishing is pretty simple. It's the closest major lake to the Sacramento area and uh, if you like trolling get on out there because you are going to take home some very handsome kings. The average fish right now is going 18 to 20 inches. On the big end they're going 25 inches and 5 pounds. Um, start out the day power trolling. Speedy shiners and speed spoons work from the surface to 50 feet deep, maybe 60 feet deep on some days. If that doesn't work, bust out the blades and the hoochies, uh, bust out your fish eye dodgers and your minnow tubes, tip them with anchovy skin, work the areas where you saw marks, you know, earlier in the morning when you were power trolling, work those areas and uh, see if those kings are responsive to a slower presentation. Most guys are getting them on the fast stuff, but some guys, you know, they're out there on a day when the bite's just a little bit slower, they hit them with the fast stuff, that doesn't work that well, they go to the slow stuff, and it's fish on. Um, the North Fork is booting out fish, the main body's booting out fish, and so is the mouth of the South Fork. Get out there, use your sonar, work the water column, look for those marks that you think are king salmon, put those speed spoons on them, put those blades on them if you slow down, and uh, you're gonna get it done. I have saw several limits this week. I saw several guys that landed four fish. Um, it's just an amazing salmon bite for Folsom Lake. Get on, get on out there and get in on the action while it lasts because you know it's gonna stop at some point. But right now, Folsom is going strong, as strong as I've ever seen it in terms of salmon. There are some big bonus rainbows in the mix. There's some of those big holdovers or steelhead or whatever they are. You're most likely to pick those up on the speedy stuff. Um, and the bass bite. The bass bite's getting good right now. The fish are pre-spawn. Get out there if you want to catch the bass. Senkos, you know, four-inch finesse worms, all that stuff is working. The fish are cruising. They're looking to spawn, and uh, it would be really easy to go out there right now and pick up a, a mess of spots, have some fun. Please let them go. They're going to spawn, but uh, springtime. It's bass time at Folsom, so those are a lot of fun to catch, but uh, if you really want to have a memorable outing, get out there and chase those kings because you're actually going to catch them right now, and uh, that's pretty unique for Folsom. Anyway, I'm going to jump. I'm Kel Kellogg. If you're looking for gear, looking for speed spoons and more, go on over to fishhuntshoot.com, and please hit that subscribe button so you'll always know when I'm on here talking fishing. You guys stay safe and I'll see you next time right here on YouTube.